Hi all folks, this is Max from Atrix4Ghacks.com So today we're going to install a new gingerbread ROM on the Atrix4G First you'll have to have the Atrix4G rooted and also the bootloader unlocked and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed I have links below where you can do that and after you've done that, um, turn off your phone or take the battery out like I do it and then let's get into recovery by holding down the volume down and the power button until you see something that says fast boot. Right? All right, and let go and use the volume down, go all the way down to Android recovery. Oops. If you miss it, then just keep going down. Cuz if you hit volume up, it's going to actually select it. And then hit volume up to get into um Android recovery mode. And before you did this, you should have copied over the ROM file to your um, SD card. I'm going to put this back in so the battery doesn't fall out while I'm doing this. And uh, if you didn't do it, you can just simply um, go to mounts and storage, hit the power button, and connect it to your computer. All right? And then mount USB storage. Uh oh. Never mind. And once you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, let me zoom in for you guys. Uh, we're simply gonna go wipe data factory and reset. Alright. And yes, delete all user data. It should take like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer. Okay, formatting. And what we're gonna do is install the gingerbread ROM. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do is install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Um, if you copied it over to your SD card, then hit external. But I copied it over to internal storage, so choose internal SD card and hit the power button. And choose the gingerbread, the ROM file you copied over earlier. Hit the power button. And yes. And this will install, It'll take like five minutes, so I'll be back when this is done. So it is done. There's one more step you gotta do. Um, so go down, go back. This is important so you don't get stuck in boot boot loop. Um, go back and then go to white cache partition. Hit the power button and say yes, wipe cache. And this will wipe your cache. And also make sure you backed up everything. I'll have links before you do any of this. Um, also go to advanced, hit the power button. Uh, wipe Dalvi cache, hit the power button. And yes, on wipe Dalvi cache. And then go back, hit the power button. And then reboot system now. And you should have the new gingerbread uh, Matrix 4G here. If you did everything correctly here. And uh, let's see. So I'll be back when this is done. Yay, so it rebooted. It's asking you for my Moto Blur. I'm gonna go um, set this up and I'll be back. So I've got the gingerbread ROM here. Um, so let me go to settings about phone. It looks much better. I got M Android 2.3.4. Um, and it build number is 4.5.91. Um, this one is pretty pretty cool let me give you a little tour and I really like it it's, I think it's a little bit more zippier than before uh, let me give you some apps um, browser book to go gallery DLNA uh, media share mobile hotspot um, web top connector so pretty much this is gingerbread um, I really like it um, and also, I'm getting you know much better um, signal on it. I'm not sure if that's from the ROM, but I think it is. Anyway, go install it. This is awesome. 
Uh, let me run a limb pack test for you really quick. Do you run multi-thread? Because the gingerbread is supposed to take um, the full processing power of dual core. So I'm getting almost 57, which is pretty good. Anyway, that's how to install the uh, gingerbread rooted ROM um, on your HX4G. Um, you don't have to be stuck on Froyo. Um, anyway, subscribe and don't forget to check out my site, atrix4ghacks.com, for more cool hacks.